Hey, this is Raymond Camden, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can test mobile first applications within the web browser. What I have here is my mobile first console, and I have an application set up already. It's a hybrid application, but I'm going to test the iPhone version by just clicking on the name, the little eyeball and it's going to pop open a little browser based emulator in this case it is the mobile browser simulator now if you remember the ripple tool for PhoneGap, this is pretty similar so this allows you to test various different apis uh, as well as see your ui and you can play with different skins play with different devices etc Again, it's a lot like Ripple, but uh, in my opinion, it's it's quite a bit better. Um, let's just take a look at some of the tools on the left-hand side so you can kind of see which each one does. Now, I will apologize. The application that you're seeing in there, it's very, very basic. Uh, I basically threw a bunch of crap in there just to see things run and put things in the console, etc. So it's definitely not a real application per se. It's just uh, something I built to play around with. Anyway, with that being said, you can open up the device and you basically see all of the device metadata. Now, within here, I can actually add a second device while I'm looking at it, and we'll just do about a iPhone 6 Plus, and that's <laughs> quite huge. So we can scale that down a bit, and there we go. In this case, it, <laughs> it just got too small to actually be usable. But now I can actually compare that device data amongst each one and you know see whatever I need to about them. Uh, for example, the resolution. I'll go ahead and kill this. We have a bit more space. So kind of going down here, we have an events uh, panel, and this will fire pretty much exactly what they say. So pause, resume, etc. So if you have any event handlers listening for these things, then you could fake it. So even something with volume up and volume down. If you cared about that and you're using that on a device that supports those events, you can test for that. The accelerometer is kind of cool. So you can actually type in values and then test for that with the device motion API, or you can actually hit play and it will actually cycle through different random values. So if you had a watch on uh, the, um, device motion API you'd actually see these values showing up over time and that's kind of no uh, kind of cool you can stop it and just hit next to hit different random ones battery uh, works with the battery API uh, this was kind of cool because there is an event for critical and I found out that that was I think at 5% or so but basically I just went up and down and looked at when the uh, different events fired now, camera is a bit different. Um, what it essentially does is allow you to pick from a few sample pictures. So you can see I have some trees and a barn or a schoolhouse and various sizes as well. Now, what you want to remember is that when you're using the mobile browser simulator, only data URIs work. You can't use a file URI. So keep that in mind. If I wanted to actually uh, use the camera and, and kind of render it on screen here, I would need to use a data URI instead of the file URI. And you have different options for uh, if you use the API to select from the album. Going on down, just like with camera, you have different things for audio and video and you could sample these by just hitting play. You could see the videos and that would all work with the capture API. Compass also allows you just to come in here and kind of, oops, kind of mess around with it. What I really like is if you hit play, it will actually begin moving you around randomly. And again, uh, because the API supports a watch on this, you could hit play uh, and then look at your watch handler and see the data change and, you know, whatever you're using it for, you don't have to actually go in here and manipulate that yourself. Going on down for contacts, this is pretty cool. So by default, you know, your computer won't have contacts on there that, that would work with this hybrid application. But if you have something in your code, like I do, a little button that makes contacts, I could then refresh it and see it in there. 
and I can also get rid of them and this surprisingly actually persists. I did a build, I did a refresh and they were still there and that's kind of cool. Uh, file system, I haven't played with that yet because as we all know the file system is uh, really fun, right? But I'm going to come back later and play with that. Geolocation, again, allows you to either manually type things in oh, or you can just kind of click around here and pick different parts of the world. And what's kind of cool is that you can actually hit play and the GPS will kind of randomly move around and if we zoom in enough you can actually watch it's almost like a person kind of walking around and uh, there you go hopefully that shows up on the video uh, but again if you had a watch on the user's location uh, within your app you could see this working with um, the dot moving around the map as well again kind of cool so network obviously works with the network API uh, one of the things you get under mobile first is that you can actually look at access points as well, which is kind of cool. And the last feature, and this one is pretty darn unique. So the mobile browser simulator supports this idea of a scenario where a scenario is a user moving geographically and changing how they access the internet. So you can almost imagine, you know, a person going from the street into a building where they go from a cell network to a Wi-Fi or maybe they're going underground perhaps and they're going from Wi-Fi to nothing. So you can actually create a scenario that simulates that. So it actually has them moving over time, changing signal strength, and you can monitor your application and see how it responds and you know hopefully it handles it gracefully. And you can actually build testing for that. So here's going from Wi-Fi to no Wi-Fi and here is going from no Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi and just keep those scenarios and then run them and make sure that everything works correctly. Anyway, uh, that's a look at the mobile browser simulator. If you have any questions, please let me know.